Today we talk about secondary leads from first base and throwing runners out by backpicking at first base. Hey, what's going on, fellas? How we doing? Matt Antonelli here. So, I was watching the Cubs-Yankees game last week, and Ellsbury leads off with a single, gets on first, right away, got a really, really big lead. We know that John Lester has a difficult time picking the first, never really wants to ever pick it first. So, Ellsbury gets a pretty big lead, or a really big lead, almost tempting him to throw over here, but he doesn't run. And, you know, the Cubs, the Cubs know this. They know guys are going to get really big leads at first. And so, you know, Contreras is really, really good at picking runners off. And so he goes right away with a back pick to first base. So first, let's talk about the mechanics of the back pick. You see him catch the ball, immediately drops to his left knee as he transfers the ball at his chest. Really short arm action getting his body turned. So again, he's left knee, right knee, throw. So that's the mechanics of it. Left, right, throw. Again, transfer the chest, short arm action, boom, and the ball's out of there. So let's watch it in full speed. And they got him. So we'll look at another angle here, again, to be able to watch Contreras and the way he's able to drop his left knee, drop his right knee, and fire to first base. Again, anticipating it because he knows he's got a big lead out there. So he catches, transfers at the chest, left knee, right knee, and short arm action. Ball never goes down. Fires. So heads up play by Contreras, heads up play by the Cubs in general, knowing, you know, understanding what happens when Lester throws, knowing what the guy, what the base runners will do against them, and knowing that if he gets out here with this kind of primary lead and he doesn't run, well, he's a, he's a ways off first base. And this is a way to help your pitcher shut the running game down when your pitcher has a difficult time doing it himself, and he's going to fire here. Okay, um, so now let's talk about, from a base running point of view, what happens here. Really, really important. We talked to all of our guys about this. On a secondary lead, right, if you want to shut down the catcher wanting to throw behind and pick you off, that once you land on your secondary and there's no action, it needs to be hard crossover back to the bag immediately, especially if you're going to have a primary lead way out here because you know the pitcher can't throw over. So you've got a bigger primary lead. Now you're going to take your secondary lead and you're just going to hang out there. You are inviting a pick, a back pick, right? And you cannot react. When you have a catcher of this skill level, when you're at a high level of baseball, not just the major leagues, but if you're at any pro ball level, college level, or even if you're at a good high school level, you're going to get picked off by this. I mean, he's out here by a lot, right? But it's all because he lands in his secondary and his feet get dead, right? He's not hard crossover back. And one, all that all it takes is a split second of relaxing right there. Relaxing, not getting back, not working hard in the bases, out. See you later. Right? Catchers are too good, especially this one. So again, here's a good look at the left, right, short arm action, fire. Rizzo always ready for a back pick. So after, again, after no action, if we move it up here. Check it from the other view again. So no action. It's actually interesting that Rizzo doesn't get off the bag at all. Get rid of that circle. But regardless, after no action, it's a 
shuffle back as a first baseman. I shuffle back. He basically straddles the bag, bang slaps the tag on. All right. Another good view of left, right throw. And another really good view of just getting a little bit lazy um, as a base runner. Always got to be hard crossover back. No action, bang. I'm getting back right now. Catcher sees that. He's not going to even attempt to throw. Right? So you're letting the catcher know right away, don't even try to back pick me. It's not worth your time. I'm getting back hard every time. Once you relax, you're done. And I'm sure Contreras saw this on the OO pitch, checked him out and said, hmm, not working hard, back to the bag on no action. I'm going for it. See ya. So let me know if you guys have any questions. thought it was a really good clip to be able to work on a bunch of different things. The catching position, base running, first base play, team play, heads up, always looking for outs, right? Always looking to create outs. Don't don't make it your pitcher's job to get all the outs for you. As a defense, if I can get a free out here or there, really, really going to help my pitcher out. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. I'll help you guys out. Please subscribe to the channel. Like the video. Uh, give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. Share with all your friends. Um, also, check out our Instagram, Matt Antonelli, or excuse me, Antonelli Baseball, and our Twitter feed, Matt Antonelli 9. We're posting instructional videos all the time that will help you guys out. Um, also, check out the description box below where I have a bunch of links to all types of different baseball books, um, coaching books, mental training books that I found really helpful. And I think you guys will like also training tools that we use with all of our players with Antonelli Baseball that I think you guys will like. Um, also, check out our website, AntonelliBaseball.com, where you can find out how to work with us in a variety of different ways. Thank you again for watching. Good luck to you guys. I hope this helps you out. Good luck in the rest of your seasons. And we will talk to you later. See ya.